we spent six weeks this summer completely renovating the entire inside of our RV. But today we're gonna to be talking about paint with you. And hopefully we can share some of our challenges so that you don't make the same mistakes we did. Sunday of the first week of the remodel, this has taken five. five. Day five, this has taken a lot, a lot, a lot longer. <laughs> than I had anticipated. A big reason because I decided to take all the walls down and put better insulation in there instead of just sanding down and prepping the surface to paint. So um, hopefully today, well, we're gonna get all the kills done. Yes, definitely. I think the real question is, we're hoping to get at least one layer of the finishing paint on there. RVs are not made for full-time living. For the most part, the people who design these build them with the weekend warrior in mind, which isn't necessarily a problem. They just have very different needs than a full-time RVer, both functionally as well as the interior and what it looks like and whether it can actually feel like a home. You don't necessarily have to go to the lengths that we've gone to to try and fully remodel, make this an open floor plan, make it feel more homely. Homey, not homely. <laughs> homey. <laughs> homey. For your interior walls, we recommend stripping all the wallpaper off, then using kills or a good bonding primer. And finally, the key is to use an exterior paint because it better handles the temperature fluctuations in an RV. Five days, and who knows how many hours, but north of 30. A lot. Maybe 40. Yeah. First coat of paint is done on all the walls. Should we go in and check it out? Yeah, let's show them. Oh, it's so fresh and so clean. <laughs> it's very white. It is very white. I hope it's not too white, but I am not repainting this. Hello, it is Friday, July 14th. We're getting ready to start working in the camper again. So let me show you where we're at, where we left off, what we've got going on for this weekend. So we last weekend finished up the first coat of paint pretty much across the, all of the walls of the camper. There were a couple of spots though where I did not properly do the seam tape and some of the uh, patch and paint. We're just using this little dry deck spackling on the walls. And so I did have to go back and add some more various parts across the camper. And so we still need to finish sanding all of that down. And then we will go back and probably do one more layer across the camper. There's a couple spots we'll need to maybe do some touch up and do two. <laughs> I think I've mentioned that we literally have no clue what we're doing. We are not experts. We are the absolute DIYers, <laughs> looking up YouTube videos, talking to people at Home Depot and Lowe's. Well, one of the huge mistakes we made was painting all these cabinets without sanding. We put on kills. We thought maybe that would create a layer, but unfortunately it just peels right off. So what we were told by the lady in Lowe's is that we need to use a bonding primer. Uh, a bonding primer can actually create its own surface to adhere to, essentially. And that will actually help the paint to stay on because we did this, I don't know, last weekend, two weekends ago, I guess. And as you can see, this paint job did not hold up whatsoever. So now, I get to try and peel the rest of the paint off the cabinet so we can actually use the bonding primer and do it the right way. We knew we had not painted these cabinets correctly because we just went with the blue originally to see what would happen. However, it is still a little disheartening to see how easy this paint just flakes off. We've got some friends that painted their camper and all the cabinets. They use the bonding primer and theirs is holding up well, so I think the bonding primer will work. But I will also ask them, I think we still want to slightly sand the surface down 
just to scuff it up a little bit and then we'll still use the bonding primer before we go back to the paint. But just look at that. <laughs> you would practically never know we had even painted here. So if you're watching this and want to learn one thing, don't do what we did. You've got to scuff up the counters. You need a bonding primer. Otherwise, you're going to waste a lot of time if all you do is put kills and paint or even just paint because it's just going to chip right off, especially in the heat. Morning, we are back out on the camper and today is hopefully finally the day that we're going to wrap up the painting on these exterior walls. So we've got everything prepped down. Uh, I've gone through and tried to sand all of these things as smooth as possible. We probably still have some minor bumps, but I think it'll be close enough. So I'm going to get ready to put a little bit more kills over some of the areas that I sanded down. And then we're gonna do another coat, maybe two, on all of the exterior walls. And then we'll be down to trim, cabinets, flooring, all of the other decor. So excited to finally get the painting done. If you have painted an RV before, leave a comment down below. Let us know any tips, tricks, what worked for you and help other people watching this video. I think I'm just a glutton for punishment. I have just created more work for myself. I've been telling you all along, I don't know how we're gonna get this done in the time we have. We were hoping for a lot of these cabinets, the upper cabinets, just to leave that color, but Lauren and her uncle thought it would actually balance out well with the floors and some of the other wood we were doing through there. And so we wanted to wait till the end while she's working on the stain for like the uh, vertical planks that'll go on the walls and then the wood framing we're gonna put on the windows. And the more we look at it, it just is not working with the, you know, the cabinet color that was originally in here. And we're gonna go ahead and sand it down and just paint everything. I'm not quite sure what we're doing up top and down low, but we know we need to get that out. So let's delay the project a little bit further and get started on sanding everything down. to get some more painting done. So I used a putty knife just to scrape a few different areas like on the back of the cabinets. And the bonding primer is actually holding up really well compared to the kills. Um, I'll show you one area down here where like it scratched a little bit, which if you use a putty knife enough on the paint, it's going to, but it did not flake off like the kills. So that's a good sign. So we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the cabinets up there up top done. The closet on that side, closet on that side, and then we've got to finish painting up the back side of those cabinets. So I think I can get most of the priming done this evening and we'll be ready to start getting the paint on. So here is where I use the putty knife and it does scrape it a little bit, but it did not flake like the kills did. And then same thing, I ran one along that surface. I don't see anything, so. Over here, I ran it a little bit there. You can kind of see the discoloration, but it didn't peel off. So that's a really good sign. I think the bonding primer is working. This feels like the project that never ends. I uh, just got done with work, got out to the RV to start working again, and I noticed Right here, this is kind of bubbling up a little bit. I have no earthy idea why, I don't know. I hope it's not from moisture. I really don't know what could be causing it, but I don't know. RV projects can sometimes be a little bit frustrating. I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure this stuff out. Hopefully some of you guys are a little bit smarter and can tell me what on earth is going on here. Obviously by the time the video comes out, I will have hopefully figured it out. But I sure hope this whole thing turns out okay. Because <laughs> I am just winging it, trying to figure it out. And uh, was not counting on this. I guess I did a really bad job with this seam tape. God, this is a nightmare. Uh, this is not good. I was really hoping the walls were all done. I really hope there's not a water leak back here because it did just like pour this afternoon 
And this just almost feels wet. <sighs> Not fun. Not what I wanted for the afternoon. So it looks like I got a little bit more work on the walls. I don't know exactly what to do to clean this up, but I'm gonna have to figure it out and get it done. Come here, buddy. Aiden. This might not happen today. Well, buddy, mommy wants to do some painting. Death grip hug. Okay, here, let me grab buddy. And we'll let you paint. I was about to say something really dumb. I was about to say that this isn't gonna work, but there's another side. <laughs> uh, this is what you get for working on projects at like 8 p.m. What? All you had to do was chase a baby around the entire day. I know. <laughs> and actually, I mean, I, I had to chase to Greg around and babysit him. Fair comparison, clearly. <laughs> One of us can go to the bathroom. <laughs> they can can go. <laughs> you both go to the bathroom in your diaper. <laughs> yes. Where are the gloves? In the garage. Inside. Of course. Why do you want gloves? You can't get paint on your hands. Okay, they're inside. Let's go. Come on. This inside or that inside? RV inside. Gloves are right over here. You're drinking my beer. And there's a little bit of paint down there. Just That's decide. all the paint we have, so just get as much of the cabinets done as you can. That's not a beer. That is painting fluid. <laughs> I love the way Greg thinks. <laughs> painting fluid. Greg, you're giving bad ideas. That happens sometimes. Okay, so you're good. I'll watch Aiden. Yes, please, and thank you. It said people who have a toddler or have had a toddler will understand that sometimes you just need like 30 minutes to yourself to do something like not child-related productive. And so painting is that? Yes. Okay, let's go. I mean, if it's like the rest of my project, like <laughs> this, right here in the way. If it's like the rest of my project like this, it's probably not going to turn out. That's my favorite one over there. That's my favorite. You should show that one. That whoops. That one? Yeah. I know. What happened? I'm not totally informed about that. Oh, yeah. This. That's probably an off-camera thing. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> At least Greg's honest. I'd never lie to you. I'd want to, but I won't. It's not an off-camera thing. The scene tape and putty just didn't work correctly. Like you... Like I hoped it would. Well, so we're well, trying some all. flex glue and sand. So it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but we'll see how well it fills up the gra uh, gaps. And then we can paint over that. How's the paint come along? Oh, good. I haven't even had to refill it yet. So I, mean, I know, but how do you uh, like the look of it? Oh, I mean, I think it looks good. I like the white. I think it's going to be like look way better when we get some color in here but i think the white is nice and clean um might be a little too clean for an rv i might wish we had done a darker color that hides a lot of people do white some stuff but yeah actually, actually they use eggshell eggshell You're, greg's right well they still do white ish that's where you get eggshell from white i know okay well we'll finish we're gonna have to go get more paint to finish this up but yeah but maybe we can, do you think we could get a small one? But no, yeah. we still have to do all the, oh. all of that in there. So, so we, we need a big gallon. Just get another big one so that we can do the bathroom. Okay. I think it's time to call it a night. I am still worried we're not gonna get this done. However, it's coming together. <laughs> the old vinyl flooring is all out, so we can put the flooring in this weekend. We're getting the painting done. We have a first coat done on most everything, so we just need to finish up the paint. And really from there, once the painting's done, the flooring's done, we can start moving things back into the RV. The trim, we can always do when we're back on the road. I think we've got a plan for the countertop. We need to get the sink ordered but I'm starting to see a light at the t end of the tunnel, even though it looks like we are so far away from being done. So we definitely bit off more than we can chew. I still, we've got like eight days at this point, 
to try and get it done. And obviously during the week I have to work, which gives me limited time, but fingers crossed, maybe we'll get this done.